In the previous video I installed the Java Development Kit on Windows 7 and now in this particular video I'm going to look at installing the Eclipse IDE or the Integrated Development Environment to work with the Java. And so to begin, begin this we're going to go ahead and just go to uh, Internet Explorer or your favorite browser and I'm going to go to Eclipse.org. So just Eclipse.org O-R-G and this is the website that we want to go ahead and download the Eclipse IDE from. They've got a downloads page. We'll go ahead and click on the downloads page. And we're going to download the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And this is the first link that they currently have available. I'm going to choose the package that I want. And I'm going to be working with a Windows package. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the Windows 32-bit. That's the operating system I currently have. And we're going to go ahead and download this. And so if you look here, this is green arrow. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the green arrow and it's going to go ahead and begin my download. I'm going to choose to save it and I'm going to choose to save it on my desktop so that I know where it's at. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and it's going to take a while. It's 128 megabytes at the moment so it's going to take a while for this to download. When it's done we'll complete the video here. Now that Eclipse is downloaded I'm going to go ahead and hit close and close my browser and you can see that it's basically a zip file that we're going to have here for Eclipse. I'm going to right click on it and in Windows 7, I'm going to just go ahead and choose Extract All. The little wizard will come up and ask you where you want to extract it to. I'm just going to go ahead and at the moment just hit Extract. And it will extract it here on my desktop. And so let's see, as soon as this is done, the window is going to pop up. As soon as this is done here, the window will pop up and we'll actually be able to see the files that we extracted. And after the file extracted, I've got a folder that popped up now because it's going to display the contents of it. So this is just what's inside of this folder that I extracted here. What I want to do is I'm going to right click on the Eclipse and I'm actually going to go ahead and hit cut. What we're going to do is paste it in a location that I can't use to delete. Kind of the location we'd expect it to go, which is going to be under a computer, C drive, program files. I'm going to go ahead and just right click in here and hit paste. And it says I need to have administrator permission to move this folder. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue and you're going to see now that it's going to move it over. So you do have to be an administrator or have administrative rights in order to move the folder over here. And the reason why I moved it over here is because unlike most programs are used to on Windows, Eclipse does not have, have a setup installation file that's going to go ahead and set it all up in the program files like normal. And so what we're going to do is just create this folder and move it over here um, on our own without having to actually run a program to do it. And you can see that Eclipse is now in the program files. So I'm going to go ahead and double click it. And I'm going to look for the Eclipse application, which is right here. And I'm going to also create a shortcut here to start up on my startup menu, or actually on my desktop. I'm just going to right-click on it, just choose Send To, and then Desktop, and you'll notice it'll say Create Shortcut. And that'll create the shortcut there on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'll close this. Now just a little bit of cleanup here on my desktop. I don't need that folder any longer. I don't need the zip file any longer. And I don't need my Java development kit folder any longer as well. So let's go ahead and test this to see how well it works. I'm going to go ahead and double click it and it's going to go ahead and hit run and you can see Eclipse is currently going to run and it's going to start up and you can see now that it's going to create a workspace for me when I run the application. It's going to basically keep a place for all of my projects and so forth while working with Eclipse. And So I'm going to go ahead and just leave the default and just hit OK. It's going to be created in a folder called workspace within my user account and now you can see Eclipse open up. Now the moment of truth to see if this is going to work. Eclipse should work by finding Java development kit through that path variable we set in the previous lesson. And so now moment of truth, if I choose file, new, and I see Java project, then I know so far it's actually working with my Java development kit as well. And so this is going to conclude the video on setting up Eclipse IDE. In the next video I'm going to go ahead and work with setting up the Android development kit itself.